uh, Maria and I are fond of saying that the, the, the to-do list, the inbox awaiting uh, the next president is unbelievably scary. Unbelievably scary. Unlike uh, what we faced when uh, Clinton took over in 93, unlike what Carter faced when he took over in 77. I was involved in both of those transitions, and this is just scary. That's why I'm not going back to Washington. Uh, and, uh, and, and it seems to me that to address those uh, very difficult problems and repair the damage of the last few years requires an ability to change the politics of those problems. Third point I want to make, however, is that having worked in the White House under two presidents uh, and worked in a number of presidential campaigns, I'm painfully aware of how limited a period of time the next president will have to actually prosecute an agenda, uh, and how little time there is for the president to focus on key priorities leaving to the rest of the government, to the other cabinet officers, the second order issues. So I make a list. Top five things I would list are the economy and the budget, Iran, Afghanistan, security generally, terrorism and homeland security, climate change, energy and the environment, healthcare. That's a whole lot to try to get done before congressional midterm elections start to consume all the available oxygen in Washington. But look what I've left off the list. Immigration, global development, infrastructure investments, labor and workers' rights, veterans' issues, trade and trade-related matters, education, and more. So all of that is to say that, uh, well, I've already made the point that I'm not going back to Washington. But, this, <laughs> but that, is, that is because I think that that given the fact that government is fairly broken uh, in Washington, that partisanship is crippling in most respects, uh, that the media uh, are such a flawed transmission mechanism in which even the best of leaders can communicate, has difficulty communicating with the public, uh, I think that uh, the next president is going to have mountainous expectations uh, and is, uh, is going to have a, a very tough time delivering on a reasonable list of those. I totally agree with the to-do list coming up for the president, but I think that one of the things that uh, I would, it is possible for an administration to do more than those things listed. If you put, you know, the big things, you know, the war in Iraq and those, that with the proper staffing that I think you could in fact put some attention to, to Latin America, to south of the border, um, especially given the things that we are learning about um, uh, drugs, violence. Uh, this is our next door neighbor and it has huge, it would be, it's just shameful that Mexico is not, this relationship has not gotten the kind of attention from the State Department, from the White House, because you ought to be able to do more than one thing. 